Hi everybody, thought I'd uh, let you know how you can fix the uh, busted USB host shield. So what you gotta do is you gotta solder in the uh, 5 volts right in through here and you gotta solder in the, um, the two little pads right through here. There's two little pads, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try and focus in on it. One says 5 volts and the other says 3.3 volts, I've soldered those in. And that will make it work for the, the, um, well, the so-called Mega. That's the Mega. But if you want the host shield to work with the Uno, I've added a couple of pogo pins so I can, um, I can, I can take them out later. Then I wire wrapped them in together. So what I did was the, um, the select and the interrupt, I, 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 I wired those together. And now the USB host shield is working with a USB keyboard and it will work with the mouse or in my case the trackball and here's what we're going to do we're going to type on the console and you can see what's coming out from the keyboard is uh, what I type and here's another one thing you can do you can hot plug the USB shield and throw in here comes the um, the trackball and we'll put that in I'll try and hold the camera while I do this. It's all very clever, isn't it? Too clever by half. Yes, indeed. And so now here comes the trackball, which is over in here. And we can click left, right. And you can see over here, uh, it's, uh, it's saying right button up, right butt up. Yeah, right butt up, right, left butt up, left butt up. And now we'll track, and now we're tracking the trackball. So now the USB host shield works with the Uno. Yay! Boy, that, that just took me a couple or four days, that's all. That's worth it, isn't it? So that's what happens when you buy the cheap knockoffs. Thanks a bunch. Talk to you later. Bye.